what I want to do is hook up a resistor. So let's do like a, a quick little example. Let's have the power supply hooked up to the resistor. Uh, and let's see this. Uh, and then the oscilloscope is going to go across the resistor. So uh, this is going to be the simplest circuit. So I'm going to put this at 100. OK, I'm going to go from the AC source. to the resistor. And then I'm going to go from the resistor to the ammeter. Oh, you know what I need to do? Before I do this, I need to measure what is the voltage coming out of there, right? So I need to put this on volts and measure the effective voltage coming out of there. Put it on AC volts, 6.58. Uh, that one says 6, but it's actually 6.58. And this is AC. So this is the root mean square voltage, not the maximum voltage, right? So in my case here, then, it's going to be 6.57 or 6.58. So this one is giving uh, 6.57 sine of... 120 pi t. And the reason I know 120 pi is because it's hooked up to a regular outlet. Okay? So what uh, should the current be reading? The current of the source will be uh, this divided by 100. All right? So or I could do it this way. This divided by 100. And then let me write it as a milliamp. Uh, so it will be uh, 65.7 sine of this times uh, milliamps. Oh, sorry. I forgot to put the, you see, now I for, I'm forgetting. The V source should be 6.57 root 2 sine of this, uh, OK? Because that the maximum is the effective voltage times root 2 and the current should be this times root 2 sine of this okay so what should the ammeter measure if I put the ammeter hooked up to the circuit the ammeter is just simply gonna be this divided by root 2 so the root 2 root 2 cancels so it's just gonna be 65.7 milliamps So now if I hook it up to the ammeter, Point six two milliamps, it's saying. Point six two milliamps. No, 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 hold on. The sixty two. I think I, I uh, hold on a few more. 
I think I just uh, did what I tell you not to do. I burned the ammeter. <laughs> OK. Because I put it right across the. You know the ammeters? Oh, there you go. Yeah, I burned the other one by mistake. Okay, 63.1 milliamps. So, good. 63 milliamps. That's good because it's showing that there's some other resistances in the wires and stuff. So, it's a little less than what we predicted. 63 milliamps. I don't know. Is that, do, are you able to see that close up? Oh, okay. That's cool. Now, I could also hook up the oscilloscope across the resistor. And go to channel one here. There you have it. This is the voltage across the resistor. Let's measure the distance between peak to peak, OK? I can freeze it. Oh, I love this. I love the freeze mode. OK, so 1, 2, 3, 3.4 divisions times 5 milliseconds per division, 3.4. T experimental, 3.4 divs times 5 milliseconds per div. O2, about 17 milliseconds, right? So what's our T expected? Well, T expected is 1 over F. And I'm saying F for a typical uh, outlet is 60 cycles. So T theoretical is uh, 1 over uh, 60, which is 0.16 something something. So that is rounded up. It's, it is 17 milliseconds, right? I want to round it up just to make it look even better. Okay. <laughs> okay. 